My name is Richard Geary, and I'm the Director of Family Educational Services Foundation here in Pakistan. Our goal basically is to provide uplift and encouragement to those who are disadvantaged or needy, to help them to, to basically empower others to build their lives. And we've been operating here in Pakistan for going on 20 plus years now. Why focus so much on the deaf community? Well, uh, our particular our particular area of speciality has been to work with the deaf community. Uh, this is a project that I personally have been very involved in as I am the father of a deaf child. And uh, for many years I've been a teacher of the deaf. We started uh, this center in a very, very small way many years ago. We were located in Southern. We had a small group of young deaf people coming, which has just simply grown to where now we have over 100 students coming to our center here in Karachi. We have also a center in Lahore, and we've just recently opened up a new one in Hyderabad as well. Okay. What kind of skills do you give to them? Our main goal is to empower these young deaf people so that they can lead uh, a life that's successful for them. And to do so, our goal is to equip them to find employment. So basically, we're working on teaching them English, uh, reading and writing, uh, IT skills, as well as uh, other vocational training in different areas, art, sewing, embroidery, uh, things that are basic life skills to help them uh, move forward. How difficult or challenging is it to teach them IT skills? Well, you know, deaf people are very, very smart. <laughs> They're very capable and they learn very, very quickly. So other, I think one thing I have to say is that we have to look at the deaf world with a different view, that they're not really disadvantaged or disabled. They're simply a culture that speaks a different language. And in some ways, we're the ones that are disadvantaged because we don't know their language. So by communicating in sign language and providing that bridge, uh, other than that, they're very capable of learning and doing so very quickly. What kind of support do you look for within the community? Uh, in the community, well, of course, we're very appreciative for our sponsors and donors that make all this possible because this is uh, it, the local Pakistani community that has provided the materials and the ability to, to provide these, uh, this IT lab and uh, the teachers and all that goes into that. And I think one of the biggest things that the community could do is, in the, is open their doors to employ some of these young people who are very talented and very skilled. Today, uh, Learning Computer opens opportunities uh, and new job opportunities, uh, educational opportunities, and the chance to really improve in one's life. And this is for the deaf and for the normal world as well. And I think it's a, a time that uh, everyone has a chance to really grab a hold of and, and uh, make uh, something in their life. So, especially here in Pakistan, where uh, it's in some ways a, a new culture that's growing. And we just like to encourage that uh, for all.